morning. I don't know why I just look so crazy right now. Or why I decided to start vlogging at 5 something in the morning. Okay, so I am um, dressed for work. Today's, I got, is this crows? Yep. I just finished eating my breakfast, but I don't know how I got crumbs up here on my shoulder. I wasn't eating like this. But anyways, I don't know. I'm going to get a lint roller and go over it before I leave. So, I have about, let's see, 20 minutes before I have to walk out this door. And so, um, I got up at 4.30, went ahead and got dressed. Um, for work today's dress down, so you can't probably can't see much, but I get to wear my jeans today. Um, we have dress down every Friday. Um, I do work in corporate America, so you do have to. Um, we can't really be casual throughout the week, but they letting us do it on Fridays because of this panorama. Um, but anyway, so got up at four thirty, got dressed. Went ahead and got my breakfast done and ate that. Got Coco's breakfast done and she finished her food um, and everything. I uh, put my lunch together. All I'm having is salad, so that was pretty easy. Um, took my vitamins, all that. And so I sat down at the computer and I logged into my class. Um, I responded to a couple of posts um, for the assignments that I posted. And so I made sure to respond to my um, academic colleagues uh, to keep up the conversation and to get my full credit as well. But these are interesting topics. Right now we're studying, um, we're studying divorce and marriage rates and the significance behind um, uh, children being adopted into families, um, what that looks like. Um, social expectations that we have on one another regarding marriage and divorce and just the whole nine. So it's it's really, really good topics that I'm really enjoying. But anyways, I went ahead and did that first. And then I got a notification from my graphic designer that she finished the press kit um, for my company. And so I went ahead. We've been going through revisions for the past couple days, probably like two, three days. We've been going through revisions. So this is like my third revision that I had her go through and change. And she notified me and said that she had completed the changes. And so I just finished looking at it now. And I will say that I am satisfied. I like it. She likes it. She really likes it. So my media kit for my publishing company is complete, right? And I'm not going to show it in this vlog because I'm going to do a whole separate video. Um, and that is going to be on my new business channel. Um, and all my social media handles for my business will have this. It's going to be at the Dream Inc. House. At the Dream Inc. House. And I'll try to leave it down here so you can see it. But um, I have a new YouTube channel. And it's, it's called the Dream Inc. I-N-K House. Um, and that's going to be all business related. So I'm going to actually post the media kit on there in a video and an in introductory video as well. So you'll see it all, all over there. Go ahead and subscribe to that channel. If you haven't um, subscribed to this one yet, click the button here first, and then head on over there and subscribe to that channel. But I'm completely satisfied with it. Yes, I am. And it just turned out so awesome. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in here and send her a message telling her that I finally approve of um, the, the changes, the revisions, and that thank you so much. And I have another project for her um, coming up. So I'm going to go in here and do that. And then we are going, let me put you up here. After I finish this, we are going to get ourselves together and get out this house, but let's see. So right now I'm just going in to email her to tell her that I approve. Hey, 
Okay, so I'm just messaging her. Give me one second. Okay, so I just finished sending the approval message to my graphic designer. Um, and I'm just really excited about this media kit. Yeah, I don't even know. It turned out really, really great. And my vision came out. And, but um, it is now 5.54 a.m. And so what I have to do is I have, let's see, one more message I need to respond to right quick. And then we're going to put on our shoes and we are going to secure Coco, make sure she good. And we're going to get out this house and get to work the nine to five. So, um, let's see. Let's respond to this message. Okay. So, okay, so I just did a quick response to him. Um, so this particular message is I am, since I'm doing a lot of groundwork with my publishing company and better building it um, for success from the level, from ground up, um, I went ahead and got my graphic designer to do the media kit over. Um, but then I reached out to um, my videographer because I want to get an, an introductory video done. And so um, I have everything that I like in my head of how I want it to be. And although I can edit it myself and I can do all the things, right? And um, get it there the way that I want it. What I'm trying to do is alleviate some of the stress off of my shoulders and doing the actual work on certain projects because I have this control issue and so I'm trying to give I don't know what's going on with my hair right now but I'm trying to give my designers videographers editors I'm trying to give the team um, an opportunity to do the work and me not be you know having to do it all um, because I just, time is of the essence and I just don't have all the time in the world looking at the clock just to make sure I ain't going over. I just don't have all the time in the world to be doing all this, you know, all day, every day. And so when you're building a business, you have to kind of like alleviate the stress and, um, give work or assign work where necessary. And so that's what I'm doing. I'm still overseeing everything and I still have the final say and the sign off on everything, but I'm not sitting down doing the actual work. I'm just reviewing, taking a minute to review, to note any revisions that I need, etc. But I'm not actually taking the work, and that's it's a difference in time. So we're gonna talk about that in another video. But anyways, um, I'm gonna sign out of here now, and uh, we're gonna get to work. So I'll catch you back. I forgot to take my gummies. I took my other vitamins, but I forgot to take my gummies. And I'm still taking the elderberry gummies. And this brand is by Cake Naturals. I got it on Amazon. So, taking my berries. My elderberry. And then I went ahead and made me some tea. And this one that I'm using... Or this one that I'm that I made this time, it's the Yogi brand. I'm pretty sure you heard of the Yogi brand. It's been very popular. And this one is Vanilla Spice Perfect Energy. And so, um, doing that. But it feels like it's been a minute since I actually 
Hold on. It's been a minute since I've done a vlog in the morning of me going to work and stuff. So, sorry if I pick up the camera. Mm -mm. But, those gummies. My coworker gave me this yesterday. And it is, it goes underneath your mask. Let me see if I can do it. Hold on. So, I think I got it. So, this is my mask. And then it goes behind it. And what it's supposed to do is, it's supposed to keep the mask from touching your face. And it's breathable. So, you can have a little bit of ventilation going through. And then also, what is that? Is that a, oh, I don't know what that is. I'm just all messed up in the game. What is that? Lotion I didn't rub on my face? Um, I'm going to get myself together. Um, and then also, what I like about it is it doesn't fog up my glasses as much. So, I thought that was pretty awesome. Thank you, co-worker. Um, let me go rub lotion on my face again so that way I won't be all ashy because I look a little dusty right now. Hold on, y'all. Make sure we're locked and loaded. So I went ahead and put motion on my face and just got myself together. Um, but I was like, let me get out of this house because I was just talking a little bit too much and time was going and I had to get Coco situated or whatever. But we are heading out of the house. It is barely 6 o'clock in the morning. If that barely I need to put this. Oh Lord, what was cold? Oh, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Because this isn't for me. Okay, so I'm gonna put that for you guys. So, um, the mail lady, she put a, a package pickup slip in my mailbox that was actually for my neighbor. So instead of, I got home later last night, so instead of ringing doorbells and all that stuff, I just came down this morning and stuck it on top of her mailbox. So that way, hopefully, she'll see it. When she comes down to get her mail today. Okay. I'm trying to get myself together in this car. Okay. It is cold out here. Oh, Lord Jesus. It is for a reason. Oh, they scared me, whoever that was. Lord Jesus, I didn't see anybody coming. You gotta always pay attention to your surroundings. One of my neighbors. One of my neighbors. <laughs> my window's so foggy, I couldn't tell who it was. But anyway, so, yeah, it's barely 6 a.m. We are headed out this house now and headed off to work. See, I have this little cushion underneath me and it keeps sliding down. But, um, yeah, so we are headed off to work. I'm going to focus on the road when I drive. Um, I don't know how long this vlog is going to be because this is an actual 9 to 5 work day for me. And I usually vlog on the weekends. 
um, but since I was doing some graduate schoolwork this morning and then also um, signing off on the revisions for my media kit for my publishing company, I thought it would be like a good video to do or a good time to vlog it because there may be somebody out there wondering how do you balance it all? Like, how do you balance school, a nine to five, and trying to build this publishing company? Like, how do you balance it? And so, I thought it would be a good, you know, thing to vlog on, and, you know, to show you guys a little snippet of my routine. That's not the full routine, because some days, some days I'll be all over the place. Other days, I'm more in sync on what I have to do. It just all depends depends on the weather <laughs> no but it all depends on um a lot of things and so i'm gonna you know i do these motivational tidbits they're like between let's say two three minutes to five or six minutes each so they're real short and motivational tidbits just telling you different things about building your business about um, motivation about resources and just all that and so I do those um, and I'm going to talk about that in a motivational tidbit so I'm going to talk about um, balancing it all and then also uh, I forgot there was one more thing that I wanted to talk about and I just told you guys y'all remind me I just told y'all um, it was the work it was um, doing a motivational tidbit on um, understanding how to separate like your role. And so, you know, in, at, when it comes to your business and alleviating some of that role, um, stress off of you. So I'm gonna talk about those two things in a motivational tidbit. Um, your role in your business and the work that comes with it and what you need to assign to other people. And look at me, my brain. And I just forgot the second one that I just said. I just said, oh, and balancing it all. So, anyways, I was trying to let the car do its thing, do its thizzle, but it's time to get out of here now. I will check back in in a bit. I'm so glad that I put gas in my car yesterday when I got home but I'm so mad I just put gas in my car yesterday literally when I got home or when I got off of work I went to the gas station before I came home I'm mad because uh bruh hold on so yeah I'm mad because gas prices are through the roof it's like almost five five dollars a gallon out here where I live in California. They are through the roof. I'm at a light right now. But it's like I put the normal amount that I would usually put in my car every week. And it's like only half of a tank when it would usually be full. Like <laughs> everything is going up. Uh, I just I don't know I don't know what to think about that everything is going up but such is life and I know that I'm not the only one experiencing the inflation in our dear world in our dear country but it sucks crazy thank God for Jesus So I just made it to work. It is. Turn that off. It's getting hot in here. It is almost seven o'clock. Almost seven a.m. So yeah, I have between a forty-five minute to an hour commute um, every morning to my nine-to-five job. So. That's where I'm at right now. My shift doesn't start until 7.30. 
Um, I used to try to leave a little bit earlier to just give a little cushion for traffic or anything, you know. And so I'm here. I'll be ready to go in the next 15 or so minutes. But this is my time that I usually chill out. In the beginning, I was picking up my um, lecture for grad school, reading, lecture notes, slides, just, you know, all of that. But I found that that wasn't good for me because it just takes me into work stressed. And so to eliminate any stress, I usually try to do some level of motivation. Um, you know, as you just saw, I'm listening to motivational speeches, one of my favorites, Les Brown, and just get that encouragement and just fill myself up with all the great things. And so that's what um, I do in between the time that I get to work and then when I actually go in. And so um, I noticed when I parked that my um I have my second graphic designer um sent me back my sent back the agreement the contract and so um I'm gonna go ahead and just verify that confirm send an email message back to him saying confirmed I received it and then I'll read that a little bit later just to make sure everything is okay um or whatever but um, I have to reach out to my videographer. I have to reach out to a couple of people, whatever. So uh, for the just next 15, 10, 15 minutes, I just chill out, breathe, take some time for me because I work in corporate America and it can get very stressful in corporate America. You're working with different people, different attitudes, different all types of stuff and it can really, really weigh on you. And so I try to take this little time for myself, but... What I'm going to do is I'm going to chill out for a minute. And then I'm going to gather myself and go to work. And I will check back in with you guys in a bit. You are stronger than anything that you're facing. Anything. And when you harness your will, when you retrain your thinking, when you jump out of line, when you decide to become an independent thinker, when you make decisions, see, if you just do two or three things well, listen to me. If you do two or three things well and just make a decision not to do a variety of things wrong, like following the crowd, like doing drugs, like drinking and pottering and pottering and, and, and wasting valuable time. If, if you decided not to do a lot of things wrong, you can make it in this day called life. Okay, so I am on break. And I usually take a, um, a walk on my break to get some fresh air to break up the repetitious workload that we do and to just have a moment to myself to think, to concentrate, and to just breathe. So that's what I'm doing, walking on my break. Um, I did want to say that when you are building your business, going after your goals, your dreams, and you have so much other stuff going on, you you tend to give yourself excuses because I noticed I was doing that to myself the past couple weeks. I said, okay, we're going to start the office and go into the office, you know, because um, I have an office space now. Um, we're going to go into the office starting, you know, January, well, the end of January and then start the full month in February. So we're at just about the end of January almost. We're three weeks in to January and I didn't send them back my lease agreement. And the past three weeks, I've talked about this in a, a motivational tidbit, but the past three weeks, something happened. That's somebody dude was walking behind me. Um, something happened or things happened. Not just one thing, things happened that 
kind of took my mind off of it for a minute and I had to focus on those other areas and they are dealing with financial as well finances financial situations an increase in other bills in other areas that I have to pay and take care of and so I was giving myself excuses because I was like okay well I need to take care of this I need to pay this and do that and kind of putting the office on the back burner and I feel that what what that does to us sometimes is or what it, at least what it was doing to me giving myself excuses it was giving me an opportunity to not act on what I promised myself that I was going to do act on what's necessary because I see everything else going around and I feel that you know it's not supposed to happen and I beg to defer on that I beg to defer on that because when you make it up in your mind to do something you're going to do it and so what I did was I pulled up the agreement Yes, while I was at work, my nine to five. I pulled up the agreement that they sent me out. And I went ahead and um, signed it. I filled out the information needed. I signed it and everything. And I scanned it back to myself. So that's where we're at right now. All I have to do is go into my email and forward that agreement to the owners of the office um, and get the ball rolling. They're waiting on me. Your dream, your goal is waiting on you. And so that's all I have to do. So I'm just going to go ahead while I'm finishing my walk. I'm going to go ahead and email it to them and set a time frame. I think I'll start actually the last week of this month. And then I'll go in starting a full month in February. Hope, keep my promise to myself. No matter what, God's going to take care of me. My dreams are going to manifest and work out for my good. And that's what I keep telling myself. So, this is me documenting, saying that I'm not giving myself excuses anymore. I'm giving myself the ultimate reason of why I'm doing this and where I see myself at in the future. So with that being said, what I'm gonna do is go ahead and finish my break. And then I'm going to go ahead and while I'm walking, pull it up in my email on my phone and email it to them. Thank God for technology that we can do things on a go like this and we can work and do office work on a go. But anyways, I just wanted to check in with you guys. You guys stay encouraged and do what you have to do. Do what you have to do for your goals, your dreams, your business, your brand, your company, your life. Do what you have to do. <sighs> Here today, gone tomorrow. That's all I can say. I'm out. I'll check back in a bit. My break will be over in a bit when I finish my walk and I'll be back at work. All right, y'all. So I am finally on lunch and I came out to chill in my car to have that peace and quiet that time to myself um you know I want to eat my lunch but um let me put this in so I can continue to keep track of the time but um let's see I've showed these in my vlogs before, but we are having a salad, and this one is just the Santa. Oh, look at you, Toy. The Santa Fe. Um, usually I'll do a week of all salads, and then the following week I'll do like um, I'll meal prep like chicken or rice or something like that, right? So this has been my salad week. And I love it because I do one week of lunch meal prep and then one week I don't have to do lunch meal prep, but I still meal prep my um, dinners so that way I can come home to food and won't have to worry about trying to pick up something on the way out unless I'm just in my feelings and I just want something out. 
But anyway, so I forgot that quick when I went to break. I was talking to you guys about um, how sometimes you can make a decision. You can make something up in your mind, a promise, or, you you know, just make a decision to do something. And um, then life happens, other obligations happen. If it's dealing with finances, other financial obligations happen. And you kind of like step back from what you promised yourself you were going to do or contribute to your business. And so that's kind of what happened to me the first, over the last like two, three weeks. That happened, I'll say the last two weeks, that happened to me where I made a decision. I was going to go ahead and um, jump into my office space and do the final week in January. Um, I, I get a free trial for a week. To sort of test out the waters and see how it will look for me on a weekly basis of working a full-time job, going to grad school, and um, building my company, um, Dream Louding Publishing, under the division of the Dream Inc. House. But life got in the way, things got in the way, other financial obligations got in the way, and I was just like reconsidering, you know. And I had to put myself back into the perspective of my business that when you start to, when you make a decision and you start to go after things that you want in your life, sorry, I'm putting my salad, my dressing on my salad, that's why I'm looking down. But when you make that decision to start to, um, that you want to go after the things that you want to go after, things are going to start happening. You know, you're going to start coming up against some odds in your life. You are going to, something's going to happen. And especially if it's dealing with money, something will turn up and you've not already made this financial obligation or whatever concerning your business and then something else happened in your life that is, is another financial responsibility and it throws you off of your dream and your goal. But I'm so determined to the point that I'm like, nah, I'm not going to let this deter me. You know what I mean? I just got to keep going. The price of the cost of living is just rising through the roof and it can be hard you know what I mean but you got to keep going and so that's what I keep telling myself you got to keep going so when I was walking on my break I told y'all I was gonna finish my break up and while I'm walking on my break go ahead and send the um the agreement the lease agreement to the office owners right and I did that I sent it over to the office owners, and right when I came to my car for lunch, I just checked my email, and she responded about 15 minutes ago. Um, and so it looks like I'm just waiting on one more response from the um, one of the other um, office staff to let me know um, that I can come in next week, but it looks like everything is set, and so... Um, next, starting next week, Monday, I'm going to be doing my trial period and I'll be going there after work. And this is how I set up in my head. But this trial period is to help me like visualize and see and actually do it. So I'll be going there after work, spend three hours there. Um, and my cutoff time is eight o'clock. And so after eight, I am headed back home. Spend a little time with Coco and prepare myself for bed. Now, here's the thing. I know you're probably like, well, you have homework and all this stuff. And how are you going to do all this? Well, I won't be in the office every day starting. I only do like three days th doing the actual work week, Monday through Friday, and then one weekend day, which is either a Saturday or a Sunday. Um, and I'll choose that day, whatever is more feasible. Um, but I need to get in and I need to start and make it a habit because when you make it a habit, then the universe, and when I say God is the creation of the universe, God will begin to line things up for you pertaining your goal, your dream, your business, right? And so that's what I foresee right now. I need to figure out what actual three days I'm going to go in, um, when I start, when I actually start, start and, um, how that's going to look for me. And I actually did my calendar. Let me see if I can pull it up. Can I pull it up for you guys? Hold on one second. Let me take a bite of this salad. Mm -mm. 
tax time is here. Got my W-2. I need to put, put together all my business and all that information and file my taxes. Hold on, y'all. So I just double checked in <clears throat> my calendar. And so I have Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday are the office days. So Tuesday, Thursday, Friday from 5 to 8. And this is just starting. And then Saturday, I'll do 9 to 1, which is a half day. Um, and depending on how much work I have to do, I, it might be a full day. So, what are they doing behind my car? Oh, people just be standing around your car, honey. But, so yeah. We are going to make it happen. Because, and I prayed before I sent the agreement. Because I need God to go before me and to follow and order my steps. And I think that's one thing that we don't do enough of. We wonder why things aren't happening in our life, but we never really ask God to um, to follow, um, to order our steps. I'm guilty of that. But no more. Well, anyways, I'm going to enjoy my lunch. And maybe I'll check back in with you guys in a bit. But I'm hungry. Let me finish this. So I'm finally off work. I'm headed home. up on reading up two chapters tonight because I've neglected my reading but I've been okay but I need to get back on that so I need to read if not two at least one chapter you see how I keep decreasing it <laughs> but I need to read one to two chapters tonight for school and then but anyways, after that, um, when I first get in the house, though, I need to walk out and get my dog a walk. So get Coco her walk, and I can use the walk too. And then we're going to get settled for the evening and get to reading the chapters. But that's been my day. That has been my day. And yeah, leaving my nine to five. And yeah, I'm tired, but we go push past. And just think when I start going into the office next week, on most days during the week, I'll, I'll be leaving my nine to five and going straight to the office. But I have a goal in mind and you know, we go, we go test the waters. We go test it. We go test the waters. We go test the waters. So, yeah. This is Toy making things happen. And we got to stay the course and we got to stay on the plan. Okay, because there's a plan. There's a whole plan. We got to stay on the plan. And that's the thing. People give up on the plan. And you barely got started. Huh? We ain't giving up on this plan as long as I can help it. Now, the plan may shift a little bit from time to time. But we ain't going to just abandon it anymore like we've done in the past. Been there, done that, wrote a book about it. Hello, hello, come on somebody. But anyways, I'm rambling and I need to focus on this road. So I was just checking in. It is 4.37 now. I got off at 4.30 and we are headed home. I should be home by 5.30. So an hour commute back. Check back in in a bit. If I don't, y'all know what's up. Y'all know what I'm doing. But if I do, hey y'all, see you in a bit. 
So this is how we are ending. Our evening. I just got home probably five minutes ago and I got the little one. So we are walking and then I'm gonna go up and get me some dinner started. Hold on. Okay, so then yeah, I'm gonna go up after our walk and we're gonna get some dinner started for both of us. And I'm gonna eat dinner. I'm gonna log on to my class and see what's popping. And I have to respond to a few more posts that um, people have responded on my discussion paper that I posted. So I have to go respond to them. And then also I'm gonna end the night with reading a chapter. So with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and close out the vlog here and enjoy my walk with Coco. I hope you guys day, morning, and night, whatever time you're watching this as well, and that you guys are aspiring to go after the things that you desire to go after, your dreams, your goals, um, your business endeavors. So you guys hold your head up, and I'll see you in the next vlog. Bye for now.